Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm here to bring you the EFC 24-7 daily report tonight, uh, this Saturday. Um, the other lads can't make it tonight, so I'm going to cover it for you. Um, we've had two games today, so it's been a pretty eventful day, both on, on and off the pitch, to be fair. We've had a bit of news. So we've just had some more news regarding the Moise Keane situation and his transfer to Everton from Juventus. Uh, Sky Sports have come out now to say that Everton are in talks to sign Moise Keane, and the article does not include the... Complima- uh, complications of the deal aforementioned about the buyback clause, but they say that uh, Everton are in talks to sign Juventus striker Moise Keane. The Serie A club are looking for €40 million, Euros, which is £36 million, pounds for the 19-year-old and also want a buyback clause inserted into any deal. Obviously, that's what we talked about before, and there may be some potential issues around that because Everton were reported to be opposed to that buyback clause. Obviously, we've had that against us in recent years, but hopefully um, there won't be anything of the sort um, and we'll be able to We'll be able to do that deal pretty well to finally get a striker, a much needed striker into our team. Uh, it says talks are really to be ongoing for a player who, play, who scored six, six Serie A goals and 30, um, 30, 13 appearances last season and also, also played three times for Italy, scoring twice. Obviously, he's a young striker um, who we could do with, to be fair. Obviously, we could do with the young. We've got Dominic Carvalho on with this. This striker seems like a, a little bit more of a perfect pr- pr- one who can play alongside Calvert Lewin, obviously provide a little bit more firepower that we need this season. Uh, obviously, one of the complications is that um, Moise Keane's agent is Mina Raiola. Obviously, we've had dealings with him in the past uh, with Romelu Lukaku, with pretty much plug-in moves to other clubs. So if he was any good, um, it'd be hard to keep hold of him because obviously his agent would be trying to negotiate a deal at any point possible, but. Uh, I think it will be a big coup if we were to get this player and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get that on over the line and there should be no complications about that buyback clause and we get the deal done as soon as possible. Um, obviously, the first team played in that first game today against Sevilla and just looked pretty blunt and devoid of ideas up front. Um, there was some decent performances in defence, I suppose. Um, obviously, didn't keep a clean sheet, but Yeri Mina looked a uh, decent Playing at centre back, obviously, if he can get that consistency going this year, maybe if we can't get that Kerr Zuma deal over the line, which is looking very unlikely now, obviously, it, it maybe Yeri Mina can take that start and spot and make it his own. So, um, a decent performance from him today, um, among a few others, but a lot of subdued, uh, very pre season esque performances today. I'm um, not a fan of pre season myself, obviously. Not a fan of taking too much from the games because I do think it's literally just a warm up for the season, but. It does concern you when you when you're watching such a toothless side that look so devoid of ideas. Um, it looks like they're definitely not up to full fitness just yet. All of the players, there are a few at different levels to others, obviously, but it's quite obvious what we need. And I think Marco Silva himself can can really judge that. Obviously, it's obvious to everyone who watches any Everton game, even during last season and obviously during this pre-season as well. Um, so hopefully, we'll get that deal over the line sooner rather than later for, for Moise Keane whether it be Moise Keane or whether it be someone else well the news has come in today as well obviously um, and a deal that might affect Everton in a bit of a domino effect um, Nicolas Pepe um, has had a bid well Lille have had a bid accepted for Nicolas Pepe from Arsenal in the region of 70, 72 million so it looks like Pepe will be going to Arsenal which pretty much rules out their pursuit of Wilfred Zaha um, and we were one of the only other sides linked with our hardest window majorly anyway so maybe that might give us a little boost of our pursuit for Wilfred Zaha the, the odds of him joining Everton have certainly dropped since Arsenal have possibly dropped out of the race by signing Nicolas Pepe so um, maybe that's some positive news for Everton but um, in terms of negative news there's a little bit of a it's a bit of a shame really today coming out from obviously we knew any move from Idrissa Gay to PSG is pretty imminent. Obviously, James has brought you that news on the other daily reports, but it seems that he's booked into for a medical tomorrow, according to several sources. Um, Izzy Sege is booked in for his PSG medical tomorrow or Monday, and it looks like that move will be over the line soon rather than later. So, um, as, as James told you yesterday, there's some, there's I think there's three possible targets we're looking at. Um, just to remind you of those, there's there's a couple of names we're looking at. Obviously, Gabamin is is um, one of the one of the main ones really who's, who we've been looking at. Um, but there's two other potential targets. This is coming from La, Paris, La Parisienne and RMC Sport. Obviously, French source um, Adrian Tamezi, Lucas Toussaint, and John Philippe Gabamin. Um, very French names. So they they're the midfielders who 
could be replacing Idrissa Gay. Um, but I think the lads behind the board will be well into making that deal come as soon as possible to replace Idrissa Gay. But Fabian Delph has been stepping in, obviously, alongside Andre Gomez in this pre-season so far. Um, and he's, he's looked probably one of the best players in our pre-season teams um, over the Wigan match and the Sevilla match today. He obviously, he's been controlling affairs. Um, he's been doing well, really, just uh, whipping out passes. He looks fit. He looks like he's been working on his fitness during the off-season, which is promising for Everton fans, and I think he could slide straight back into that team if we we're unable to to get a replacement for Idrissa Gay, or if it takes a bit longer than expected. Hopefully, it'll be done sooner rather than later, obviously, with the striker deal as well. Um, so, yeah, that's the news from today. Also, we had the match against Mainz, which we lost 3-1, which was majority... M- m- more or less the under-23s, really, with a, a few first-teamers in there as well. Obviously, Kevin Morales played again. Um, I think a lot of Blue just want to see him out the door, as, as as is the case with quite a few of the Deadwood at Everton at the moment. But, uh, obviously, he played Lewis Gibson, got a goal again. But, um, they, they competed with Mainz, but, uh, at the end of the day, that was... It was it was a difficult tone. So obviously, it was a strange one as well, seeing 60-minute matches. It was, it was a bit... Uh, obviously the players weren't used to that and it was it was a strange one but to get 60 minutes a, a full match out in pre-season uh, will benefit them but I'm hoping we're, we have a bit more about us against Verde Bremen in the next pre-season friendly because so far we've just been pretty toothless and if we if we open the Premier League season in that manner uh, I can't see us progressing from last season to be honest so um, that's pretty much um, the news we got for you today from the Daily Report um, so I hope you've enjoyed it uh, also before we go, we've got to mention Joe Williams has been um, subject of a bid from Wigan Athletic um, of around £1 million, which has been knocked back. It's an opening bid. We understand that Wigan will probably come back in for Joe Williams, but uh, obviously he did well. He did qu- as, as well as he could for Bolton Wanderers last season. A str- obviously a struggling team who were relegated amidst financial problems, but he stood out in that team um, and he was definitely one of the better players. So he's attracted interest from other championship clubs. Uh, Wigan being the most prominent of those, uh, obviously a bit of being rejected, but I don't think that's the end of that this summer. I think Joe Williams might end up leaving the club um, on on a deal, but I think it'll be a little bit more than one million. Obviously, the first bid's been knocked back, but that's not the end of that deal. So um, keep an eye on that one. But yeah, that's all the news from today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, please like the video and comments. Subscribe to Traffic Blues and join us um, on all the other EFC 24-7 daily reports. We've got every day covered for you, so make sure you tune in next time. And thanks for watching the Toffee Blues.